Welcome back to Cocktails and Combos here at the Dusitani Guam Resort. Earlier we talked about, you know, the, the glitz and the glamour of uh, the red ball, but really the American Red Cross. It's a lot of hard work. You guys are raising money for such a worthy cause. So Marcus, if you could just tell us where does the money go? Well, I think uh, two things to mention here. Two misperceptions is that, one, the money doesn't stay on either when it, it actually does. And two is that although we mentioned earlier that there hasn't been uh, a major disaster in the last 16 years, there's a lot of little everyday disasters that happen that many people don't hear about. They don't make the front page news. And I think those are the ones that our volunteers and our staff are always out uh, assessing damages, helping families when there's floods, uh, fires, and things like that that, um, again, don't make the front page news, but they're important to the families that are affected. And I can tell you, whenever we have board meetings, some of the longest conversations we have from the board members is hearing uh, the staff tell us what has happened since our last meeting, how many families they've helped, how many people have been affected by uh, storms, floods, uh, different uh, disasters, natural disasters. And, and that's really heartwarming to know that we've played a role in that. And this is where the funds uh, that we raise from the Red Ball and the other events uh, go to. It's not just monetary assistance, right? Don't you guys provide other types of services? Correct, we do. Uh, uh, we average about 16 to 17 single family home fires uh, fiscal year. And we also have this uh, uh, tie up with the military. We are the only nonprofit organization chartered by Congress to provide that emergency communication to the military members. And so what that is, is we keep them connected with their families in times of uh, like, if there's a death in the family or uh, birth of a child, you know, they cannot go on leave without that verification from the American Red Cross. So the American Red Cross has the network to find that soldier underwater, above water, in the desert, we'll find him and relay that message. Is there any final comments you'd like to, yeah, to make? Yeah, you up like every dollar, how much does it go 91 to? 91 cents of every dollar you donate to the Red Cross goes back to the community. To the community. Yes, for the so critical services cents, that yeah. uh, we provide the community. All of this for free. Yeah. Any final comments? For me, being one of the newest board members, I, I can say I'm, I'm very proud that any time that there's any disaster, no matter how big or small, the first name that comes to any person's mind is American Red Cross. And to be a part of an organization that is synonymous with helping anyone, no matter your, you know, who you are, where you are, your socioeconomic status, um, I'm very correct. proud to be a part of it. And I'd just like to echo Renee's sentiment. Um, in being chosen, it's, it's just, you know, of course, I know the history of this being the biggest social event of the year, but there's so much more. Us, and there's yeah. such, yeah, it, it's worth it. It's worth, you know, having, you know, and it's a great time, but it's worth, you know, worth this, it's, it's an investment in this wonderful organization that has done so much for our community for over 100 years. Yes. And I'm proud to be a part of it. And I'm proud that, because I'm yeah. a part of it, my team is a part <laughs> of it, and I'm proud to know all these people that I've, Kind of got, I already know them, but gotten to know them a lot better through yes. the course of this yes. uh, yes. plan. I, th I think ultimately the the American Red Cross. I think you can rely on the organization uh, before and during and after a disaster to provide relief, and not just relief, but hope to the people that was affected, and even with the community. Yes. And um, just seeing that as board members, you know, we're that's that's our. A reward just to know that the fact that we're able to touch the, um, somebody's lives or a family and and you know like again it's not just a storm but just a, a basic fire you know we don't again like Marcus had mentioned that there, it's not really really in public but just we well, know the, that uh, we're helping we out the yeah. low profile uh, mm -hmm. disasters you know so but it, but Red Cross has evolved so much that we don't only, in addition to everything else that we do, we also have what we call our pillowcase project. The organization got a grant from Walt Disney, and so we train ages three to 13 in uh, disaster preparedness. We give them a pillowcase that has a list of all the things they need to put in there, like batteries, water, flashlight, so. 
Yeah. We're constantly, you know, finding new ways to, you know, give hope and assist the community. Well, we even put up a, uh, what do you call those, those things? Oh, we also do uh, smoke <laughs> alarms. We, we, <laughs> we install, we install, that's one of the things, new things that we do. We install smoke alarms in at-risk homes mm -hmm. in all 19 villages. To date, we have installed about 300 plus smoke alarms, so. Yeah, and it's those things, I mean, you're, again, you're a household name in times of the, the great mm -hmm. disasters, and you do so much work there, but it's these little things that yes. I think people, yeah, that's need, right. that 365 days a year Correct. people should And that's know why about. my board members are so passionate about that. They're gung-ho, I mean, they're not, I mean, the, there are board members and there are board members. I mean, my board members are like, Cheetah, what else do you want me to do? Isn't that wonderful? That's all you need to ask me. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Angel. Cheetah's Angels. That's right. Um, you want to give out uh, the information on where to get tickets? Yes, absolutely. Tickets for the raffle for the Lexus. You can call me at 472-6217 or at Mescla at uh, AK JMI Edison. And if you cannot come to any of those places, just give me a call and I'll deliver the tickets. Same with the Red Ball tickets. You can also yeah. follow them on Facebook there you go. and Instagram. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you guys uh, for joining me. Make sure to go to the Red Ball. It is on September 22nd, right here at, at the Dusitani Guam yes. Resort. This has been Cocktails and Confos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.